The Trump administration rolled out a new plan today to discourage migrant families from coming to the United States. The new guidelines would end a long-standing federal court agreement that limits how long immigrant children can be kept in detention. News 8's Richard Allen is live downtown with more. Richard? And Carlo and Marcella, in the past 10 months, nearly 475,000 families with children have been apprehended at the border. That's three times the previous record. Now, to crack down on this, the Trump administration has unveiled a new federal regulation ending the current time limit on child detentions, hoping that this will deter families from attempting to cross the border in the first place. You're going to have trauma for life. On the same day that activists here at home gathered outside a migrant detention center for boys in El Cajon. We're calling upon our government to be more humane. Putting up ribbons to show their support for undocumented children. We want to stop migrant child detention. We all care about these kids. President Trump in Washington voiced his concerns as well. Very much I have the children on my mind. It bothers me very greatly. The president says he wants to reduce the record-breaking number of families with young children continuing to cross the southern border. To crack down on this, the Trump administration Wednesday unveiled a new federal regulation. Homeland Security Acting Secretary Kevin McAleenan. The new rule will reduce the unprecedented volume of family units. Under current rules, migrant detention of children is limited to 20 days. This new regulation would allow children and families to be detained indefinitely, as long as it takes to decide their asylum cases. The administration claims that conditions would be far superior to the overcrowded conditions already in place. There are campus-like settings with appropriate medical, educational, recreational, dining, and private housing facilities. The administration proposes and I believe will detain children indefinitely in substandard conditions. Immigration attorney Hope Fry says there's no reason to believe the Trump administration will cease what she calls its cruel treatment of migrants. This is an end run around providing safe and sanitary conditions and the things that children need. And a federal judge first has to approve this plan of indefinite migrant detentions, and already pro-immigration groups have vowed to challenge it in court. Also earlier this week, the Trump administration announced it will not give flu vaccine to migrant families held in detention facilities. And just today, the president said he is looking at ending the right of U.S. citizenship for children born to non-citizens here on American soil. Carla? Thank you, Richard.